how you feel that all these months with this new normal things have changed especially when you're performing presentations that is not as exciting as it used to be to present the best of you to use the best of your body language your vocal variety and create an impact in people because it's all about to share screens you cannot see your audience you cannot have that emotions and since people can only see this and they cannot see you it's not the same experience it becomes something boring and even a little bit glitchy to be honest only sharing screens is not enough people can lose their attention but i'm an innovator and i'm inviting you to fix it and let's transform this into this a new experience that you were transforming those boring presentation that is only about sharing screens into a new one that you can interact with your presentation but not only that we are gonna do it together with this new tutorial where we're going to go from zero to hero building amazing presentations with pressy video so are you ready for it let's start in order to create these amazing presentations there are three important requirements the first one a pressy account the second one microsoft powerpoint or an application that is compatible with powerpoint like libreoffice keynote and google slides and finally you need to download pressy video that is compatible with Windows 10 and Mac OS. In order to get started, you're going to go to Pressive.com and you're going to go to Pricing to understand a little bit of their offers. You can choose different options like basic, individual, students and educator, and business. In our case, we're going to go to the basic ones. In this one, you have two options. The basic one that is mostly to work online, doesn't work offline, and the plus. This one is if you are an advanced user and you already have, let's say, some experience and you would like to have everything offline, to have some privacy, especially if you work for a corporation, I will suggest you to get one of these ones since it will help you to have full control of everything that you're doing. And you can download your own videos and create your own versions offline for our case in this time we're gonna use the basic one when you join you're gonna it's gonna request you for a name a user an email like and a password that is gonna be generated you need to choose that you are not a robot and finally that you're at least 13 years Later, you can continue with your experience. Supposing in your case that, I'm gonna suppose that you have already started. The next step is login. In my case, I'm going to login with my Google account since I'm already a Prezi user. I log in with my account. And the first thing that I'm gonna see is the following. This is the basic presentation and you can download the options that you have. In my one, this is the basic one because this is how most of people will see it. I have my own Prezi Plus account that I might use for other presentations. But then the first step is to go to video conference because this is what we are interested in. You do click in video conferencing and don't download the Prezi video for desktop. It will take a couple of minutes since it's a little bit big application. And we're going to come back after it. Now I suppose that you have downloaded Prezi video. In my case, it's in my desktop. I'm going to open the video. I'm going to open the app. And it's going to take a couple of minutes to install it and to get started. The application is going to initialize the process, it's going to configure a couple of things in your computer, and the process is more or less alike if you're using 
Windows or Mac OS. There are not many changes and the best from it is that after it's installed, we need to do only one last step, that is to log in with our account. The login is a requirement since Prezi Video is fully connected. And one of the important things about the application is that it depends on your account. You have certain privileges that you might not have under other circumstances. If you are using the Prezi account that is for free, like in this example that I'm showing you, you're not going to be able to create videos, only broadcast your presentations. However, since in this case we have been focused on broadcasting and not exactly recording, this is an easier way to do it. The process takes an average maximum five minutes. Sometimes it's a little bit long, but it's a very worthy experience and valuable to, to live. So I'm going to come after it's finished and we will see how the rest of the process looks like. Now I suppose that everything is already installed and Prezi has started. The first stage is going to the hamburger menu, clicking login. Choose the option that fits better for you. In my case is login with Google since as previously I showed to use my Google account and choose Google and that's enough. After that, we are going to go to Microsoft PowerPoint. And let's suppose that you would like to create a presentation for your first book. In my case, I'm going to create a blank presentation. And the next trick is go to design, slide size, custom slide size, portrait, and choose. You're going to use any of the options. It's not really relevant. And the next step, we're going to delete this. We're going to add the cover of the book. We're going to add a new slide like the Black Knight. That is the devil, in fact. We're going to choose like, let's say, Arial Black. My advice is to use for common fonts. If you use a different font, it's not necessarily going to be smooth or it's going to work as expected. Then we search for the Black Knight. We add it here. And after that, we can add a second slide that is about, let's say, the Cadejo. In the Cadejo, we add the second slide and we choose Arial Black. We increase the size, we set it, and let's say that we would like to have a conclusion. The conclusion, we can just bring, let's say, a quote. And in the quote, everything works smoothly. We can define it in the middle. And as you can see, this is the first step. We save the presentation and this is the first point about everything. And now for the last part. I expect that you already have your presentation ready, that you already opened Prezi Video, and we're going to go further. We're going to import PowerPoint. As you can see, it's clear. PowerPoint, not other kind of presentations. Here, you're going to go to your folder where you have your presentation. You are going to open it, and it's going to start importing the presentation to you. It's going to transform it into the regular presentation into images. Because what is creating, in fact, Prezi is a virtual camera. It's combining what you can see now with the view that you have. The next step to share it is to do click in video conference. It's very clear about this. You click in video conference, choose Zoom meetings. The next step is go to your Zoom account, Teams, or anything, and configure it. Press the video virtual camera. Cool. Then you do click in start video, and it's going to start the magic. Now, my advice when it's loaded, you will see something like Prezi video. If you would like to don't have it as a watermark, my advice is you can get a premium account or any other account and you will not see it. Now, you need to do click here in this view again. So it's going to give you access to the presentation. But now let's start in how the new presentations 
are going to look like. Every place has unique folklore, and El Salvador is not a different one. In this case, I'm sharing you Timeless Stories of El Salvador, a book that goes in depth about my folklore, my country, and telling you more about its secrets. Every story starts with one character, and this one is the Black Knight, the devil for many societies. He has been there, cursing every generation with his unique powers and perverting them, bringing them money, success, or fame. But he's not alone. He has some friends called the Cadejos that are persuading other people. But in fact, everyone can change the world. But we need to start giving the first step, becoming agents of change. This is how a new presentation will look like. As you can see, it's not about sharing screens, sharing things that I go underground, no one can see me, I'm in the background. In fact, finally, you can have a new interaction where you are visible to the audience when you're sharing a screen. You create new presentations in this style that is next to you. You can go even see it and people can feel one more time that interaction between you and the audience. And believe me, what the people are going to look, in fact, is not at this view that we have here around. In fact, this is what they are going to see. But as a reminder, when you're going to use Prezi video, please come back to the Prezi video view. This one says untitled or anyone that you might have a name, but this is important because this is when you're doing the broadcasting. And this is this tutorial about, hopefully you have learned something new because I would like that you can share it with your friends. And if you wanna learn new tricks about the interviews or other things about technology, subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends. And if you enjoy it, give it a like because that helps us to keep bringing you the best of this world. But until the next time, bye.